A very warm welcome to Real Magic <laughs> A very warm welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Shuffle Pad by Vorsten Bosch and Vanishing Inc. Before we do this review, please like, please subscribe, please check out Card Magic Course because without that there ain't no review show. Yeah. Uh, Card Magic Course is my online course with over 400 videos about that, <laughs> there's more, I don't know how much there is now. Um, there's at least, there's, there's 42 of the, just a, when we do a live session every week, I upload that, and then there's hundreds on top of that with all the different courses you get, like the Royal Road, the Pharaoh Shuffle course, all the Shuffles and Cut courses, anything you want. Uh, so, and you can request things, of course, if it's not on there, and then I'll try and get permission if I haven't already got it, and we put new stuff on there at your request. Isn't that lovely? So check out Card Magic Course, learn from a pro. Right. Um, it's not an, well, it's an easy one to review and not an easy one to review because this is Vorsten Bosch and we know that Vorsten Bosch make really lovely things. I don't think we can deny that. They make lovely close-up pads. They've been in the business 30 years. They make this stuff for royalty. I don't think they make close-up pads for royalty. I think it's upholstery for royalty. Um, and this is answers, I think, the only thing I said about the Vorsten Bosch pads that was a challenge was that they're not mobile. Now they're not meant to be. They're not meant to be carried around really. They're for, they're for special, aren't they? They're for Sundays for when you pop your shirt on, pop a pair of nice shoes on and sit with your Vorsten Bosch mat on your own. <laughs> it's pretty much every Sunday of my life. So this is a shuffle pad and it's for shuffling cards and of course I think it's lovely for coins. It's what you carry around with you. Now in two ways, well, probably more than two ways, but the first is obviously when you're performing, and that day will be coming up quite soon, I think, when we'll have real audiences, which will be very lovely. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, it's currently still locked down. And, you know, putting, a, putting this on a table and doing some work with this, I think, is a lovely thing. Now, a lot of people don't think it is. They think putting a mat out, you know, when you're working or doing tables is silly. I'd completely disagree. I, I think, you know, to, to put something out frames it, it stages it. If you've got a lovely coin routine or you've got some where you're placing coins or they're putting something down or you're dealing cards or you're shuffling cards, wonderful. This is no good for spreading cards. As you can see, it's, I'll give you the dimensions in a minute. Um, but you can see it's, it's not a, a spread thing unless you're doing a packet trick or anything like that. Uh, but I think it looks good. And I remember seeing Armando Lucero when I was working in Portugal in the evening. We were sitting around dinner and he got his... Matt out and there were lay people there as well and did his beautiful menagerie trick and some card stuff and I don't think anybody was going that's a bit silly he's got a mat <laughs> it's like a special mat no it just looked, looked fine now so the, it's mobile so we now have someone to carry around now we've all, all, all you know already some of us got roll-up mats which is totally fine uh, mine's a bit tatty and old but I think this adds a bit of class and I think with my close-up mat that I roll up I'm not getting that out at a gig because it is it's got a cat hair on it and all things. Yes, I know we could clean it and stuff, but um, it's a black thing. It picks up a lot of dirt. This just, when you get this out, it's just going to look nice. And I know this sounds like an advertisement. It's really not, again, no affiliation, but I absolutely love this. I've been carrying it around the house because I love that, you know, if, <laughs> I'm not suggesting you will do the same, but I've been just really practicing all my shuffles. And I like the fact that every time I do a shuffle, I can just sit down at the kitchen table um, on this lovely thing. And it's like everything. If you've got something nice, you're going to practice more. If you've got a nice pen, you're going to write more. If you've got a nice computer, you're going to get on it more. Uh, and this is no different. So I, it's, it's really light. I was surprised at how light, so much so, and this isn't just hyperbole. When this arrived through the post in a jiffy bag, I was convinced I'd been sent the wrong thing. I was convinced I'd been sent like a magazine or something because it was so light. But it's hard, it's light and it's hardy. They have different ones of these, uh, three different ones. I've got, I always forget, red and black base, black and black base, and green and brown base. That's not hard to remember, is it? But for some reason it wouldn't go in the head. This is the green and brown one, obviously. Uh, and the dimensions are seven and a quarter inches by 10 and a quarter inches. So do measure that, it's a small thing. It's a very sweet thing. Eric Jones, I, I first thought about this kind of thing only a couple of weeks ago before these came out and I didn't know about them. And Eric Jones, when he did his uh, masterclass, 
he had something, I don't know whether it was one of these, because I wasn't registering whether it was or not. I just thought, that's a really cool thing, a really tiny little close-up pad to, to stack your coins on or do your coin stuff or, to, you know, like I said. And it's, uh, and, and the things I thought, that'd be nice, obviously these came out, so it might have been the same thing. It's got the little Vanishing Ink logo there, it's got the Vorst and Bosch logo there, and it, I, there's really no, no negative with this at all. Obviously they're not super cheap, I think they're £60 or something like that between 50 and 60 pounds I think um, I think it's worth it I wouldn't think twice but it's whether you're going to use it or not and it's just a it's a beautiful piece of work holstered beautifully the stitching's great I can't see anything at all to say bad about this I love it so there's the <coughs> excuse me there's the Vorst and Bosch uh, shuffle pad do check out the links below because it's nice, you know, people will keep sending me stuff if these things work. And any questions you've got, any comments, do comment. And I will try to get to all of them on the comments on comments sections on Thursday evenings at 5 UK. Uh, and that's live on YouTube on the channel. And I also go live Mondays at um, 5 o'clock. Yeah, so 5 o'clock. And that's just to talk about what I've been uh, playing with at the weekend. But it's just me to chat, really, and hang out. And you can ask questions, too. So thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Check out carbmagiccourse.com and have a great one. Cheers.